Welcome, my name is Kellyanne, and today I'm going to show you some of the changes that occur in the list labels area once you install service release 4 to your church windows module. We can tell that this is on service release 4 because it says version 1511.4, the 4 indicating service release 4. These changes will affect the membership list labels area and it does affect that area even if you only own the membership module. Now if you're brand new to Church Windows and you've installed the program and the very first version you own is 1511.4 then you won't have any saved search selections and you really won't see any changes since you're new to the program. However, this short video may help you understand how to create labels. In the old program, or prior to Service Release 4, if we were to go to Membership and Reports, we would see List and Labels as one function. Now they are split apart, and if we go to List, we really don't see any changes on this screen. However, if I click Next, and Next one more time, notice on Report Format, where we typically would see the selection for Labels, it is gone. We can easily print our labels by going to the Reports Labels area. However, before you do that, if when you printed your labels, you typically would go over to the right here and pull up a saved selection or saved search criteria that you entered, you will want to come into this area and write down, pull that saved search up, and write down the different detail lines of that search. Once we've done that, we can now go to Membership, Reports, and Labels. On our label screen, we'll go ahead and start on the Print tab. First thing we want to do is click on the New Label button. Now, once you've created labels, you'll see them in the drop-down list. But we need to make a new label. That opens up our Report Wizard. Here, where we see Label Products, we can click the arrow we have quite a large variety of different manufacturers to choose from. We'll go ahead and choose our Avery Standard. Once you choose the label product, then you need to click under Product Number. And we have many, many more uh, labels available now. And you'll want to choose the actual product no number for the label you're using. Then we can click Next. The second screen is where we can customize some of the options or the measurements on the label. You can make any adjustments you need here, although the preset measurements should work with the labels, and then click Finish. This opens our Report Designer. Here we see the actual label, and it tells us it's going to use the mailing label or the household name and the address. Notice along the right side we have a variety of other information we could add to that label or we could click on the label then do a right click and delete and we could click and drag other type labels over. This would give us the actual individual name rather than the mailing name or household name. I'm going to go ahead and move it back to what we originally had, the mailing label and address. Once you have your new label, click Save up along the top, and then close out of the Report Designer. Now we see in Label Layout the Avery Standard 5160 address label that I just created by clicking the New Label. I have some other options I can choose from here. <clears throat> the start, start position of my label, if I'd like one label per individual, giving unit, or family can also add some organization information if I choose. I can click Add and fill that in. And I can also select particular givers. Let's move on to the People tab. This is where I would enter the saved search criteria that I've written down from the actual list area. Here in the upper left, perhaps I'd like people with a certain status code, I can click the arrow and hit the S on my keyboard, which brings up all of the fields that start with S. I can choose status code, mark the status codes I would like on this report, and then click the plus selection button, which drops that down. 
Perhaps I also want just females, so I can click the and button, and then go back up to select the membership field. Oops, find, I was hitting female instead of gender. So to clear out something, if I've chosen it by accident, I just click the X. Now I can select gender equal to female and click the plus selection button to add that down to my search criteria. I also have a lot of other things I can select here. I can include visitors. I can easily include my terminated or inactive people without actually having to put search criteria in. If I would like to combine some donations information, I can choose here givers with numbers or without. I can put in a range or a named range. And I can also now include my membership groups or from my donations module, if I own that and I'm using it, individuals or groups I've simply added there. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck these. So now I've built my criteria and I can move on to the rest of the tabs. Even though I'm in the membership module, now that the new donations module is available, as you keep adding your service releases, even if you don't use donations currently, things will be added and changed behind the scenes in preparation for when you do decide to convert. Here we see we can narrow down our labels to particular giving or pledging, and we can also look at particular accounts from our donations module. And last but not least, we can choose how we would like these labels sorted by the giver number, the name, or the zip code. We'll go with name. We can go one more time back to the print tab. Here notice we could uncheck print for all and go down the line and check who we would like to print labels for. I'm going to go ahead and check print for all and let's click print labels in the lower right. And notice we have beautiful labels, 10 per page, three across or three columns. Um, and these labels are specifically giving us just the females who have the particular statuses we asked for. Now if you're new to the program, you may be asking, why do I see males' names here? That would be because we asked for the actual mailing label, which if we look in a household, the mailing label will use whatever is in the upper left in the actual mailing label field. So while it did pull just females with that particular status, we've addressed it using the mailing label. So that's why we saw men's names. We hope that this brief instructions on how to use the new list or labels area in the membership module is informative. Again, in our list area, once you've converted to SR4, there's no more labels. However, you still can access your labels and you have a lot more flexibility in your labels by going to the separate labels area under reports. Again, this is just a brief instruction on how the different areas work and how you can get your save selections in. And a note on save selections, notice there is no area to save the criteria you've entered, but as we release more service releases and membership gets rewritten to match the programming language of donations, those things will be added back into the program. So for now, if you create labels every week and you have certain criteria you enter into the program, but you don't want to have to go over to the list area under the save selections, which was here. You might want to keep a little notebook or piece of paper with your label criteria list written out until those areas of the programs merge again and you're able to save your search criteria for your labels. Again though, Despite the fact that these are split apart and you can't save those criteria, you do have a lot more flexibility and functionality with the new labels. So we hope you do like all of the changes and we do welcome any suggestions or comments for how we can improve church windows. Thanks again. Have a great day.